You know, this is a prime example of playing stupid games to win stupid prizes. And we finna get into it, y'all, but first, intro. Yo, what is good, fam bam? It is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another video. And, um, yeah, this one can be a little bit different because, uh, you know, some buffoonery going on in the YouTube hemisphere. Um, so basically, uh, there, there's this, um, nutcase, this whack job who goes by the name of Mokon that, um, has been, um, stalking, um, some of us in the community, um, dude, um, uh, stalked stalks me he stalks um many other uh many homies of mine you know what i mean he's um he stalked uh this person here um daniel armstrong um and many others you know what i mean he keeps mentioning us by name and he's been real spitting off some some real slanderous stuff on our names um he accuses us of being chomo supporters and stuff like that and um, he keeps playing this clip we're about to react to. This comes from Daniel Armstrong's uh, live. Shout out to the homie Daniel Armstrong. You know what I mean? The fuggin of all fuggins. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to you, brother. And um, this is a live he did last night, if I'm not mistaken. Well, technically, uh, two nights ago now. Um, and basically what we're watching is we're watching uh, my man Daniel Armstrong um record Mokon's live. So Mokon is actually live while Daniel is live. You know what I mean? And he's doing this because we're, we're trying to document everything that this dude is saying because, you know, this guy, we don't know what his deal is. Well, it's just other than the fact that he's just, like I said, he's a total nut job. He's a total, total creep. Um, he, like, like I said, he accused us of some real, real heinous shit. And, what we're about to uh, watch right here is uh, this dude get caught up in a lie. He kept playing um, Alpha Tyler's live panel that I believe is one of our early Awesome Show episodes, if not um, a live panel Tyler and I hosted before we officially dubbed it The Awesome Show. Uh, I could be wrong. But anyway, on this panel, we have uh, Wee Scheme. Shout out to the homie Wee Scheme. We have uh, Triple T. Uh, shout out to Triple T, um, who um, also has um, some some evidence that we're going to check out too in regards to Mokon. We'll get into that in just a bit. Um, but anyway, so Mokon was playing this, uh, the, the live panel that Alpha Tyler and I are hosting. And um, he, he's trying to use that as proof that we, we support a sex offender and whatnot. <clears throat> and... Uh, Oh, man, wait till you see this, because this, man, this totally backfires in dude's face. You know what I mean? It's such an epic moment. Uh, be advised, you may see some jump cuts as we're listening to this, and that's because um, Daniel and Amy, they they, they pause um, Mokon's stream to give their commentary. So we're going to skip their commentary and only listen to um, this BS that this BS narrative that Mo Mokon is trying to push. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this and then we'll, we'll discuss it some more. So without further ado, y'all like to hear, hear. Go. Funny thing I just noticed last time Scheme and um, Tim were on the streams, Tim was talking about somebody showing up to fight them. I and know. Them. <laughs> and they, and they did you get the fight? Oh, oh, hold up, hold up. What's funnier, Scheme, that person that Tim was talking just so y'all are aware, I'm just going to come and cover this up. Oh, you see where this is from. Okay, so this person that, that, that is talking, for those of you who may not know, um, that just paused that live panel that Tyler was hosting, That's this is Mokon that's talking right now. All right, I just want to pause right here and kind of let y'all know. All right, keep be, be advised. This is not coming from, well... Technically, it is coming from Daniel Armstrong's live, but this is them basically recording Mokon's live and Mokon trying to push a narrative that's trying to, you know, again, hurt our rep and hurt, damage our, our names. You know what I'm saying? So, 
Anyway, let's get back into this. Was it June 8th, 2022? It's Alpha Tyler, Simple Reacts. Um, I forget that dude's name. There's Jason JV. Forget the, I don't know who that one is. That's We Scheme and Triple T. Let's see who the topic of the hour is, shall we? It, the, and this is about that. Right. Oh, was Brad? I remember right. Oh. Did you get to fight Brad? <laughs> no, bummer. Yeah, he was in the show. I mean, after I tonight, I'm not surprised. Yeah. So, so what happened? He, what happened? He showed up and spammed, and then I blocked him. The end. Yeah. 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 <laughs> going. And then, that's all she wrote. He, that's he, all that happened here. He, he appealed to he appealed to a new community um, for his drama laced interweavings because you know my, my community, your community, and everyone else who has listened to this point was not enough, and so he uh, he found a new person to message, and then found out oh, that oh Bradley Bradley we agreed on one point and then i said i didn't care about anything else <laughs> you probably like, like, agreed with reason, him on the same point that tim agreed with him on yeah for, for some reason i i think i was there all right so to give context as to what's going on here what they're basically talking about here is that uh <clears throat> see at the time when we and see i messed up on that comment i should i should have double checked that comment but at the time when we did this live panel, we found out that Jekyll is you know, a, a sex offender. You know what I mean? He is on the um, on the register or the registry, rather. And <clears throat> so Mokon basically hit up Wee Scheme and, and passed this information on the scheme. And as you heard from Scheme, uh, dude kept kept spamming him to the point where Scheme was like, all right, you know, enough's enough. So I blocked him or he blocked him rather. Um, and, uh, and Tim is, is basically filling us in as well as to what's, what's going on with, with Jekyll and the, the whole story behind, um, the incident between Jekyll and that 16 year old he was with and everything. So anyway, let's go ahead and get back into this. Uh, he, 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 he mentioned, well, no, we agreed on that too. Um, so I guess, well, no, we didn't agree on that. He disagreed with that. <laughs> That's cool, MC. That's cool. <laughs> but we we both agreed on his premise, which was something to do with Jekyll. And I was like, I don't like Jekyll. He's a piece of shit. I don't care about you. Go away. And that was like I, our conversation. And I concur with that statement. Yep. Yeah. And, yet, and yet he still hates you too. <laughs> and I concur with that statement as well. <laughs> you know, it's the beautiful thing about this community. Like everybody can have. I love it. I love it. Oh, I love like, Matt, I don't really care about the rest of what you're talking about. Real maniac. I remember you. I haven't talked to that guy in a minute. I love that man. A little yeah, maniac. Baby, baby, pause. He, he used to be in the close circles where Jekyll was with me way back in the start too. And boom. As you see, as I said in my comment. Says scheme had agreed with you, moron, that Jekyll is a piece of shit, and I agree as well. So this is where moron, as I like to call him, messed up. He was again. He was trying to use that live panel that Alpha Tyler and I hosted uh, to prove that you know we support Chomos. You know what I'm saying? Um, in particular, uh, Jekyll. Um, but what he, but where he messed up. He let that panel play out long enough for Scheme to say that Jekyll's a piece of shit and for Triple T to say that he concurred with that statement. And as you can see here, my comment, I also agree with that statement and everything. So basically, this is where a dude caught himself in a lie. He got caught in a lie. And this is where his whole narrative fell apart. He destroyed his whole narrative by simply letting that, that panel play out. You know what I'm saying? So, and even then, though, before then, he didn't really have anything to prove that we, we support Chomos. We don't. Obviously, we don't. You know what I mean? I've been very outspoken as to where I stand with those type of people. I believe they, they should be locked up, buried underneath the prison. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and I'm sure that there's many in the, pretty much everyone in, in the community, I'm pretty sure they, they would agree with that. You know what I'm saying? Now... We're going to go ahead and let this finish out because, uh, check this out. Or, uh, before I knew that he was a turd. 
sandwich, not not maniac. Oh, maniac! To my knowledge, maniac! To my knowledge, is not a turd sandwich. To my knowledge, maniac is not a douche. Well, Neff says Neff says lately that Maniac is a giant douche. Maniac, you want to just jump in here? It'll be easier. I tell you why I don't. I don't like about Jekyll. About the whole lying about when he was a recruiter, and that he went to a house party and then mysteriously there was these teenage girls at this house party that he was at with all these other recruiters. Uh huh. Yeah, that just didn't add up. Well, Bro, that's I'll, not even like this. That that part of his past isn't even what got me to disavow him in the first place. I ended up finding about that shit later. Uh, I already saw him on some other fuck shit before that. That was like recently happening. I was like, oh, this dude's pathological and lying and fucking manipulating and all this kind of shit. I was like, so I was like, you're out of my circles. Go. And scheme is not wrong with that statement. He's absolutely correct with that. Oh, wait. And then, like, he DM'd me once. I was like, I don't fuck with you. I'm going to tell you right now in this DM, I don't fuck with you. I don't trust you. You're a bad person. I'm not around you. Stay away from me. Uh, and uh, then later uh, I would find out that I was like, oh, you were a sexual predator, too? Man, that just adds to everything that I already knew about you. What a cutie. You're consistent in being a piece of shit for years. <laughs> yeah. Brad's still watching. Hi, Brad. Uh, like, like yeah. does, does, does he not even fucking realize that he's literally fucking blowing his own fucking narrative on this shit? Thank you, Amy. You have Scheme Tim at, fu fucking admitting, fucking saying right fucking there that nobody knew and nobody fucks with Jekyll anymore. Yeah. Facts. Facts. <clears throat> we, we fucked with dude. Up until the point when we learned the true story of what happened between him and that 16-year-old girl. Once once the truth came out, everyone in the community was fully aware. Yo, we washed our hands with that dude, and we all moved on. You know what I'm saying? So good job, moron. You just you destroyed your own narrative, as as Amy pointed out. You blew it. Sucks to suck, don't it? You blew it. Uh, I'm, I'm surprised you're playing it, because this fucking goes against your whole motherfucking narrative. What? You fucking dumbass motherfucker. What? Wow. <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> wow. Damn! And, bro, there you go. There, and there, there, there's my statement right there. Yeah, Bradley, you basically prove that we agree with you about Jekyll. You're a dumbass. Yeah. What pissed uh, people off about you, Mo Khan, is the way you handled it, the way you dealt it. Dealt and I have to agree with Daniel Armstrong here. So, basically, what happened was that... Um, in case you guys didn't, didn't hear very well, uh, so there there's history between uh, Mokan, Jekyll, and the rest of the JMP camp. Mokan basically tried to get in with the JMP camp, and when uh, when he basically was uh, rejected, he decided okay that he was going to look into um, Jekyll's personal business and whatever. And he found out about this whole. Uh, Again, that whole situation between Jekyll and that 16-year-old girl, you know what I mean? And found out that dude is on the registry and everything. And rather than actually confronting Jekyll on a live, which is what he should have done, instead of supposedly DMing him behind the scenes, um, he came to... Uh, who was it? He came to We Scheme's channel, spam Scheme, and was bugging Scheme about all that. Came... Came to uh, Alpha Tyler's channel, bugged him about that, and basically was trying to get all of us, you know, to gang up on Jekyll, call him out on that shit. But it's like, dude, you're the one who went out of your way and looked this up for for yourself. Why didn't you call him out? Why didn't Why didn't you go on your platform, call out, dude? You know what I'm saying? And confront him about it. Call him out and confront him about it. You know what I'm saying? You're. This was when he was. He used to be known as seeking the truth. Well, he sought out some 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 truth. And, you know, refuse to call dude out again, live, you know what I mean, in person. You freaking, you, you were too scared to, oh, you know what, better yet, let me wait till my next comment shows up. with it, And you want to pin on others instead of doing it yourself. So if there was any blowback from anybody, you didn't have to deal with it. They had to. Yeah, he wanted to hide behind us, you know what I'm saying, basically use us. You know, to confront dude, but it's like, dude, if you knew all this and you got a platform, you should have confronted dude on your platform. You know what I'm saying? And 
and maybe then you probably would have had some support on your side had you went about it that way but no you went the chicken shit route you blew it and you dm dude what and then try to get us to call him out for you not okay that's not a man that's a coward you blew it fish because you know if you make that accusation of course people are going to get defensive but until they see evidence it's guaranteed people are going to get defensive with those kind of accusations, you know, until evidence is proven otherwise. My feelings of you are the same as I DM'd. I don't care about you, your drama, or your existence, but Jekyll sucks, so in that, this bump. I feel like I've been out of the circle. I agree with Kim on that. For so long. Like, I can honestly say, right, Jekyll is the reason that Tyler and I are on the track together. Hey, sometimes, sure. sometimes the bridge is made out of shit, but the bridge is still shit. Okay, I like that. Okay, I like that. And, and 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 here's the thing I said. Like like the first thing that I said. Okay, if the story panned out, that okay, you were tricked by someone into having sex, and you didn't know how old they are. Okay, you don't ID everyone at the door. And so you may have been true. Got to, bro. Oh, come on, Tyler. Oh, hold on, 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 hold you dumped your shit on us instead of confronting the monster yourself. You're a coward. Yeah. You you want to be known as seeking the truth, right? You want to be you want to go out and seek some truth. You want to go and and uh discover, you know, someone being a a freaking um a sex offender or whatever and they're on the registry and whatever, dog. Since you found that out, then as a man, you should have went on your platform and called dude out, and you didn't do that, dude. So you're a whole bitch for that one. You know what I'm saying? You're a whole coward for that one. And you're the last one, Mokan, to be accusing anyone of being either a pedo supporter, a sex offender supporter, or a sex offender of any kind. And we'll get into that in a little bit in just a second. Club setting, people do go through with IDs, so everybody inside the club expects everybody to be of age, but you know, there's a such And yeah, uh to 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 Tyler's point, if so it doesn't matter if you're at a club or a bar, you know what I mean? Everyone knows, you know what I mean? In order to get into a club or a bar, you know what I'm saying, that obviously is gonna be serving up alcohol and whatnot, everyone knows you you gotta be at least twenty one and up in order to get into places like that. And there's people that actually get fake IDs, you know what I mean? And they lie about their age. So yes, I can see scenarios where young girls, you know what I mean, will get fake IDs and they'll they'll hit on, you know, the older guys who are of age, you know what I'm saying, and do things with them. I can see that, especially in today's day and age, you know what I mean, with the way the system is, you know what I mean? I, I can see that stuff played out. However, that was not the case obviously between you know the person that was mentioned earlier and that 16 year old girl you know what i mean in that case the man was the monster and the girl was the victim so anyway and he shut it down yo <laughs> oh, that now that was the epic finish that i wanted y'all to see when dude got caught in his lie in his blatant lie he not only did, did he shut down that live but like he usually does with all his lives, or at least most of his lives, he takes them down. He'll either he'll either set them to private or he'll delete them. Because again, dude will will say some outlandish shit. You know what I mean? He'll like I say he'll he'll speak some slanderous shit on our names, trying to damage our reps. You know what I'm saying? And the dude has actually said some some racial remarks. If you haven't seen it. If you go to my community tab, I post a video clip of another live that Daniel did where he recorded. We caught Mokon on on Mokon's live. You know what I mean? Mokon calling me all kinds of uh, spigs and wetbacks. Don't believe me. Like I said, it's in the community tab. You can go see that for yourself. Now, let's get into another video that's from another channel. Give me one second. 
All right, y'all. So as I mentioned earlier, I said Mokon is the last one to be, you know, accusing anyone, right, of being a chomo or a sex offender of any kind. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, thanks to my man Triple T here, uh, he's got a video up where we have an audio clip again from one of Mokon's live or or Mokon himself openly admitting to dating a young girl of the minor variety while he was in his late 20s. So uh, don't take my word for it. We're going to hear from Triple T's video. Again, shout out to Triple T and a uh, shout out to uh, his wife, Lori. Uh, I talked to her on uh, Instagram and she uh, pointed me to the video, pointed me to, to his channel, to the video that has this information that comes straight from Mokon himself. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this. What up, YouTube? This is the Real Triple T channel. I am the Real Triple T. We're going to jump up in it. This video is for Books for Moses. I noticed you had Harley Davis up on your panel tonight. You questioned her because she was up on your Carolina Rebels panel. And you said that she called you the N-word. She said, no, she didn't. She goes, well, you were up, you were up on, her, on his panel, so it went through your mind, so you were thinking it. And she replied with was, well, I guess you must date 12-year-olds because you grew up on Mokon's panel. And since he said he date 12-year-olds, he said, you stated that was a lie. They made it up. So books, let me show you what your boy said on his own live stream. And you can't deny his voice. Listen to these words, books. This is Mokon. And but then they tried and the girl was like 12 years old. I was dating her. She was I was like 28 and but then they tried and the girl was like 12 years old. I was dating her. She was I was like 28 and but then they tried and the girl was like 12 years old. I was dating her. She was I was like 28 and and but then they tried and the girl was like 12 years old. I was dating her. She was I was like 28 and but then they tried and the girl was like 12 years old. I was dating her. She was I was like 28 and but then they tried and the girl was like 12 years old. I was dating her. She was I was like 28 and now, books, you can't deny that. That was your boy, Mokon. Came out of his mouth while he was intoxicated. And he now, that's a very important detail. Dude was drunk. His favorite drink of choice, Four Locos. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, he was intoxicated. And we all know what alcohol does to you. It brings out your true self, you know what I mean? It brings out your, your everything, you know what I mean, that, that that you have in your head, you know what I'm saying? You know, the old saying, what's done in, in the dark eventually comes out into the light. You know what I mean? Alcohol is truth serum, you know what I mean? Every, eventually, all the things that, that you've done, it, it all comes out, you know what I mean? So, so that, there you have it. He said that he had too much to drink, that he misspoke. Now, his panel guests questioned him three times before he corrected himself. Now, books, I've seen you get up on the panel and do Keystone challenges where you said that you can out-drink anybody on Keystones. And I've seen you do some pretty messed up stuff, like take your Johnson out and beat it on the table and flash your butthole to JM Exposure Oof. while intoxicated. Oof. But I never heard you misspeak about dating a 12-year-old when you were 28. Most rational men would, would never say anything like that, even if they were intoxicated. He, he's, and Triple T is not wrong about that. See, if dude n never dated a 12-year-old, why would he say that? You know what I'm saying? While well, intoxicated. If that never happened, then that should never come out of your mouth, even when you're intoxicated. Bruh. And you know what they say? The truth always comes out when you're under the influence. Mm-hmm. Facts. So is it because is it because he was intoxicated? You've been intoxicated. I never heard you say it. Since you were on a panel with Mokon, do you date a twelve year old? I would let you answer that. All right, y'all. That's pretty much the end of Tim's video. Uh, 
<clears throat> I think Lori actually comes in, try to get his attention, and that's when he closes out the video. So anyway, there you have it. Now we know who the true monster really is. And that is you, Mokon. Now be advised, uh, Mokon lives in the state of Florida. What's the relevance of this? Well, just recently, uh, Ron DeSantis, who is the governor of Florida, uh, put out a tweet basically saying that anyone, you know what I'm saying, any adult that, that gets caught doing anything illegal with a minor, especially harming a minor in the most heinous way possible, will end up getting the death penalty. I don't know if God's gonna have mercy on your soul. I mean, it's up to him what, what to do with you at the end of the day. But see, this is what happens when you fuck around. You, sooner or later, you're gonna end up finding out the hard way. So yeah, again, this is Mokon. His real name is Robert Bradley McConaughey. And he lives in the state of Florida. And by the way, I did not dox him either. He actually gave out his real name on his own on his channel so there you go all right y'all so there you go a little little exposure video on this whack job that won't leave us alone hopefully now uh that this video is out um you know what i mean maybe maybe he will leave us alone but either way um i hope that he is you know fully processed you know what i mean uh through the uh, proper authorities, you know what I'm saying? I hope some law enforcement are watching this video, you know what I mean? And especially law enforcement in the state of Florida, or at least those that are connected to law enforcement in the state of Florida, because we need to get this guy, you know, off the streets and whatnot. Uh, we, we need to get him locked up, you know, and um, and let the law, you know, do, do their thing, you know what I'm saying? Process this man however they, they see fit. So, yeah. Like I said, play play stupid games, win stupid prizes. So, all right, y'all. It is your boy Jason JV, and y'all take care. Have a blessed one. Catch y'all next one. Peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason JV? I'm just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, G? My name's Jimmy Bass. I just want to have the genetic dude with a little trick. Who's saying what's up, G? Get your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you sad. If you sad, you sad. If you sad, you happy. I don't know what I mean. Too happy. Don't be expecting shit. Because life ain't perfect. 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 Life 